Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I am Teron Davenport and we are here with a pure football player, Temple inside linebacker Tyler Matakavich. Tyler, just coming into this week, obviously high tackle numbers. What did you want to show these, these scouts and personnel folks that you bring to the table? Just my, my ability to play the game, you know. Uh, I think a lot of people have questions about my agility and, and whether I can cover backs and out in open space and, uh, and whether I can play with some of these big boys. But... Uh, but no, I think, I think I've done an excellent job my whole career at Temple, and uh, I'm just excited to be here and excited to show all these scouts what I could do. Over 400 tackles at Temple. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're always around the football. What is it? What, what, what allows you to get to the football and make these tackles so frequently? I mean, it all starts up front, you know? I mean, Matt I Nice, he's here with me uh, this week, so I'm very excited about that. But, uh, but the guys up front, they make my life so easier. You know what I mean? I'm able to diagnose a play before it even happens. Mm -hmm. and, and once those big guys open it up and once I know what's happening, I'm, I'm in the hole before the running back, you know? So, uh, and it's just something that I've been able to, to do throughout my career, but the coaches have gotten me better at it each and every year. They keep challenging me, and, and that's something why, that's a reason why I think I've excelled this far. Now, as a linebacker that makes so many tackles, obviously you're going to get engaged with offensive linemen. What do you do in order to keep them from getting to, to your body and, and being able to maintain their blocks against mm -hmm. you? I mean, you got to be smart when it comes to them. You know what I mean? These, these guys aren't small. They're big boys. Mm -hmm. and, and at each level, they're getting bigger and bigger. But, uh, no, I mean, the biggest thing I try to do is just use my, my ability. You know what I mean? My 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 athleticism just to if a big guy's coming at me i know i can dip and rip and get under a block you know uh if, if he's climbing fast give him a quick shot get off and just stun him you know what i mean because because at the same time these guys are they're big boys i mean 300 330 pound guys and uh i mean you really just gotta take it use it use everything to your advantage you know and that's something that i've really tried to do so there's going to be teams that look at you as a middle linebacker in 4-3, uh, inside backer 3-4. Just how do you fit into 4-3? And then tell me how you fit into 3-4 defenses also. I think I could do both, you know. Um, I mean, uh, our tape shows. Uh, I mean, I've, put, I've been on wide receivers, you know what I mean, in the slots. Been on those speed guys. And, uh, I mean, as long as you stick to your techniques, staying low and not looking at the quarterback, depending on what defense you're in, I mean, everything will be all right, you know, and uh, and I think in, inside the box, so I think that's my strength, you know. Uh, when I'm inside the box, I feel real comfortable. Uh, I'm able to, to see everything. Uh, I have great vision, I think. Uh, I mean, I think the, the film, you, you see it on the film. Tape you don't know? lie, right? Tape don't lie. The eye in the sky don't lie. But um, but no, um, but but seriously, the my, my ability to, to diagnose a play before it happens, I think that's the biggest thing and something that I've really used to to my best of my ability. So last question, just what you guys were able to accomplish at Temple th this year and just in the last couple of years as far as turning that program around, actually making it a place where po people want to go and play football. Of course. Just give me a, a, a feeling. I, what was it like to be able to go in and, and turn a, a help turn a program like that around? I mean, it, it, it was extraordinary, you know. Uh, I mean, to, to go 2-10 and ten Coach Rule's first year and then to go 6-6 six and six, and then to – to finish the regular season 10 and 2, playing a conference championship in a bowl. Uh, I mean, you tell me the last time temp a Temple team's ever done that, you know? Uh, I mean, it's just, Coach Rule's just done such an unbelievable job there, and, and guys guys want to play for him, you know? Uh, myself, Tavon, Matt, uh, I mean, there's plenty of others. Uh, there's 20, 20 plus seniors in our class this year, and uh, we finally said, hey, enough's enough. Let, let's get this thing rolling, you know, get Temple in the right direction. And, uh, I mean, I'm excited to see what they do from now on because the future is looking bright for Temple. There you have it. Linebacker Tyler Matikavich, Senior Bowl. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.